Hi everyone. Today I'm going to teach you the basics of After Effects. Or what I consider the basics. Hope you all enjoy the Google Translator voice smiley face. Before we start, here are some of the most helpful shortcuts. You don't need to memorize them all right now. I'll explain most of them through the video. This is the layout of After Effects. At the top of the screen, you'll find the tools. Make sure to be on the selection tool. At the left, you will have all your media, photos, videos, audios, etc. In the middle, where the preview of your video will show. At the right, you have the effects and presets. And at the bottom, you'll find your timeline. The first thing you want to do is create a composition. A composition is where you're going to do the whole edit. I'll put the dimensions as 1080 by 1080 to make a square. Make sure to change the quality to quarter so the video runs faster. Then we are going to import our footage. To do that we drag our files to the left or we click in this import button. Now we are going to drag them to the timeline. First I'm going to add the audio. And then the pictures. Then, right where the beat is, we split both. We delete what is left and as you can see we have both photos at beat. However, this picture doesn't exactly fit the square. So by pressing S on the keyboard we adjust it so it fits. Then we right click and choose pre-compose. This is so we have the file as a perfect square. If we double click on the pre-composition you can adjust the picture however you like to and it'll show in the main composition. You can also add other stuff and it'll also show. We do this with both layers. Before we add any transitions, you must go to Effects, Add Motion Tile and Enable Motion Blur. Now it's time for basic transitions. If we click on this arrow right here, you will see the rotation, scale, position, etc. In this case, we are going to do a zoom out transition, so we are going to use scale. We are going to enable keyframes by clicking on this clock right here. We drag this button to the start of the layer and then go to the end. Because this is a zoom out transition, we'll adjust the scale at around 30%. Then in the second layer, we make our keyframe at the end and at the start we change the value to 150%. If we preview this right now, it looks very choppy. That's why we use graphs. To enable graphs, you must select all keyframes, right-click and select Easy Ease. You can also do this by hitting F9 on the keyboard. Now to see the graph, we must click on this little button. Make sure you are in Value Graph. What graphs do is set the velocity of your transition. In the first clip, we always want to start slow and then go super fast. To do that we move the circles like this.
For the second clip, we want to start fast and then go slow. Now we preview it and it is a lot smoother than it was. To do transitions. You always want to follow this rule. Slow, fast, slow. And another thing you must take count on is that if one clip finished with one value, the other one must start with the opposite. For example, in a rotation if you finish with 90 degrees, the other clip will start will minus 90 degrees. Or with position, being 640 the default if one clip ends with more than 640 the other should start with less than 640. To render your video, first you must select what part you want to render. Then go to the top, select composition and add to render queue. You can leave these settings as they are or you can change them like me. We name our file as we want. Now click Render. That's it. So these are all the things I think you should know about After Effects. If you have any questions, comment them. Bye. Smiley face.